guys welcome back to my channel as you can see we're in the dark um i wanted to just use the ring light for this video um anyway in today's video i am showing you guys i got a few requests from you on simple ways that you can trim your hair at home so i wanted to give you a couple videos on um just at home maintenance for your hair but the first one i wanted to do was the hair trimming video because that is the most requested so first things first you're going to want to start off with your hair freshly washed um you should ideally go for actually probably going to do both you should ideally go for a clarifying shampoo follow that up with um, a moisturizing deep conditioner and then what i suggest is putting your hair into several chunky twists like this. Um, I always encourage people to work in the part. So for instance, when you wear your wash and go, if you normally are parting to this side, wear your hair how you normally part it. Um, put your hair into a few twists and let your hair air dry. And this is what we have here. All right, now, once your hair is completely dry in the twist, then you can go on with your shears. Now, one thing I do wanna stress, make sure you have a good pair of hair cutting shears. You want to make sure to use hair cutting shears and not regular scissors. Regular scissors can cause um, jagged ends, which can make your split ends worse and travel higher up the hair shaft. So you really want to make sure that you have a good pair of hair shears. So now that I have my hair in the sections, I am going to clip the hair out of the way. All right, so now I'm taking the very first twist. And one thing you wanna do when you are twisting your hair, you wanna make sure to run your fingers along the end of the hair. This will help you kind of gauge how much actually needs to come off. You can really feel what hair feels really dry, what feels brittle, and what hair feels like it's not really absorbing product, okay? So once you do that, you can see at the bottom of the twist here, this little ringlet, you know, you have those little frizzy ends there. So what I suggest is taking your hair, putting it in between your thumb and your index finger, taking your shears and simply cutting off that tiny bit. So now, as you can see, you're left with a blunt end and your little wispy dead ends are gone. As you can see, this is not a lot of hair, you guys. This is literally the tiniest bit, about an eighth of an inch or so. And this is not gonna alter the shape of our hair. This is simply gonna make sure the ends of our hair are healthy so that we're able to continue with our regular styling while we're locked up. Um, I'm gonna repeat the same thing all over. So same thing, twist, fill what needs to go, and cut. If you run your fingers along the twist and you don't feel any hair um, out of place or you don't feel like you have any straggling ends um, on that particular twist, then go ahead and move on to the next one. The last thing you want to do is cut hair unnecessarily. Okay, so run your fingers along the twist, grab the ends, snip just like that and continue around your whole head. Something you can do for balance if you are someone that likes to switch up their parts often. You know, one day you style on the left, the next you may 
switch it to the right and vice versa. A really good thing to do for you is to part your hair directly down the center and apply these twists. That way you have perfect balance on both sides. For me, I hardly ever wear my hair down the center, so I don't really cut it that way. This is also not a shaping. Also keep that in mind. This is not to relayer your hair. This is not to shape. This is not for more volume. This is not changing anything about the shape of your hair. This is literally for the health of your ends. That's it. So we got to this piece in the front. As you can see, that piece is fine and doesn't need any trimming. So we'll move on to this side here. Same thing on this one. And then on these final twists in the front. My twists in the front, like I said, don't need anything. So that is it. So these are the twists, as you can see. And now look at those beautiful blunt ends. Literally that simple. And I'll show you guys how much hair I cut off just so you can see for yourselves here. This is literally all the hair from my twists. This is the trim, people. So this is a very light dusting, very basic maintenance, but doing little things like that will aerate the ends of your hair. It will allow your hair to absorb your products um, and to get the best results from your products and keep you sane while you're in quarantine until you can come see your stylist. Um, I hope this video helps. I hope you guys really enjoy it. Let me know what you guys want to see next because I'll probably be doing a lot of these little late night, middle of the night in the bathroom while the family is asleep videos. So until the next one, I love you guys and see you soon.